artistic director of the San Francisco Silent Film Festival, and um, one of the great things about putting on a, a festival of rare and obscure films, uh, we do a festival every July at the Castro Theater in San Francisco, and we show films made between 1895 and roughly 1929, the uh, transition to sound, is that you get to meet this incredible group of people that you didn't really know existed. They're sort of underground people, and they're the people who sit in dark theaters that you would never see, except when they're leaving the theater. Uh, people who, who will go see the most obscure, the rarest of the rare, because uh, it's very easy to go to the, the multiplex any day of the week and see The Matrix 7 or uh, uh, Total Destruction 12 or whatever. But uh, um, the, there's, so, there's so much history in, uh, in film from the very beginning, even today, that uh, there are these pockets, these wonderful pockets of people who, who will go see films just purely because they're rare and just purely because they're not what's being marketed to us today. And we get to meet people like Mick LaSalle who develop an expertise in a particular area of film, uh, as I said before, that you, you might not have even known was an area of film. And a film is basically a mirror of our culture, a mirror of our society, and, and uh, films from the, the teens, the 1910s, the, the 1920s, the 30s, the pre-code era, are a window onto our history unlike anything that had ever existed in the culture before. We, we'd never had such an accurate record of what we looked like, what we dressed like, how we thought, how we treated each other. And, and films are this incredible, unique record. And it wasn't until 1934 that people even began to think they should be saved. The first archive in America was opened in New York, the, the Museum of Modern Art archive in 1934. And because we had these people who, who realized that film wasn't just a, uh, a commercial item, an entertainment item, but it was also a record of our culture, and we didn't even realize we were creating it. Uh, there were groups of people like Mick LaSalle and like all these other people I'm speaking of that, that saw something in these films and felt these films needed to be treasured and they needed to be preserved and restored and shown to audiences and talked about. And uh, Mick LaSalle in particular is extremely, you're going to make you blush now, Mick, extremely articulate and intelligent observer of the films from the 1930s and the way they capture the growth of the culture. So uh, without further ado, uh, I, actually I guess I better put in a plug, uh, the ninth annual San Francisco Silent Film Festival is scheduled for July 10th, 11th at the San Francisco uh, Castro <laughs> Theater, and we have some brochures out front if uh, you pick those up. Uh, but uh, please uh, join me in welcoming um, an expert on the pre-code era of film, Mick LaSalle. <laughs> 